Hey bookworms, welcome back to my channel and to another review. Today I'll be talking about The Guest List by Lucy Foley. Now before I get into reviewing the thriller, I do want to let you know that I have some big plans for the month of October. Every week in October I'll be reviewing a horror novel that has a special significance to me. Mostly the scariest books I've ever read. But I won't be talking only about these horror novels that everyone talk about, so if you're into horror, stay tuned and please leave a comment if you have a suggestion for a name for this October series, because I am lost when it comes to names. Now, the guest list. This thriller is about this fancy schmancy wedding at a remote island in Ireland. As always, we have family issues, usual jealousy, last minute jitters, but this wedding has more than simply that. You see, we follow a few characters, like the bride, the best man, the party planner, etc., throughout this mostly normal event. But all along we get some flash forward to right after the ceremony, and we know that something horrific has happened. Or will happen. So, as always, let's start with my general opinion about the book, and then we'll get into a bit more details. This book was a fun way to pass the time, but nothing more. Actually, I'm not even sure I'll categorize it as a thriller. It's more of a mystery, if anything. The book structure really remind me of another uh, thriller I reviewed in A Dark Dark Wood. In both books, mostly we focus on a regular event with only hints that something bad will happen in the future. Then we get to this horrific event and at least in, in A Dark Dark Wood we have a character who tries to solve this mystery, but in the guest list this event happens at the very end and as it happens we know who does it, to whom and why. The only mystery is during the book as we get constant hints to something that's about to happen and we wonder what it is. You know how in the movie Moulin Rouge it begins with the protagonist saying the woman I love is now dead? Spoiler for Moulin Rouge. And then you know the tragic ending but you just wonder how she dies? It's kind of like this, it's, it's hardly a mystery. Now, not actually focusing on solving the mystery isn't necessarily a bad thing, but I feel like most people who would gravitate toward a book marketed as a thriller would like a mystery to solve, and this includes me. I was honestly disappointed when I realized that there isn't a murder or a disappearance and no detective character I can follow while they try to attempt to solve it. It is a matter of taste, but I personally really don't see the point in structuring a book like that. If you're going to have a crime in your book, at least have it as a focus and not as a hint. What's the point of a mystery where such a small part of the book is actually dedicated to solving it? Other than that, the novel is okay. As I mentioned, it was a fun way to pass the time. It was a fast read and does try to have some depth into it. It does deal with some serious issues that have merit and worth discussing, but the setting is so frivolous, they can't really be discussed the way sh they should be. It's a flight book, nothing more. It has rather stereotypical characters, some of them I hated, especially the bride, I was kind of hoping she would be the victim, and some rather obvious twists. But sometimes you really are going for something like that, and if you're in the mood for a flight book, you know, lightweight, quick novel, this might be the book for you. It was very entertaining and rather gripping, just not the thrillers that I'm used to. What I'm saying is, maybe I felt more disappointed because I was expecting something different and basically that's all I have to say about the guest list. Have you read it? Do you agree with my review on it or do you think there's more to it than just a flight book? Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching my video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please don't forget to like it and also subscribe to my channel if you dare. Also, write down in the comments below if you can recommend a good thriller or if you need recommendations yourselves. I linked in the description box a few reviews on, shall we say, better thrillers. And also, don't forget to stay tuned for October. Again, guys, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.